Hey, what's going on, my ninjas? Chapter 669. Just because of the last two digits, I can already tell that someone is going to get fucked, and someone is going to get fucked hard. Let us be cereal and milk here. Guy's Night Elephant is going to be beast, nearly god, like I can already tell. In some translations, it's Night Elephant. Some translations, it's Evening Elephant. But I think Night Elephant is better, you know, suited to be like the last technique like the ending of you know the guy's life cycle from opening the death gate so i think it is night elephant but it could be evening i'm not sure but either way i'm crossing my fingers that guy does some major damage to madara either knock off a limb or two or at least disable him to the extent where he can be taken out easier from someone else because if guy unleashes the eighth gate the death gate I mean, the pressure point is on his heart, for goodness sake. If he does all this in vain and Madara comes out without a scratch, just, you know, big dick just flopping everywhere, I will be so fucking pissed. But I see 669 being all about God because I don't think Kishimoto will write this where we just zoom through the eight gates because we've been wanting to see this for a very, very long time. So I would like to see the eight gates be unleashed for maybe a chapter or two, not drawn out, but like all next chapter or most of it just being, you know, hardcore action, you know, between uh, Madara and Guy. Ever since the announcement that Guy will be opening up the eighth gates, a lot of people have been asking me, do I think Guy is going to die? I'm going to straight up say it, yes, I do believe so. Even though I don't want him to, he's an awesome character. But just the flashback that he had in 668 about his dad pretty much sacrificing his life to protect him, it just seems too much of a coincidence that guy is doing the exact same thing right now and then we got shots of lee afterwards so it seems that guy is prepared to die and he's going to sacrifice himself to protect everyone else so yes i do think he's going to die is he going to stay dead that's another question because there are so many variables that could happen between now and the end of the series will naruto or sasuke or both of them eat the fruit will sasuke or naruto get the renegade now i'm not saying madara is inexperienced in taijutsu because he has shown us instances of why his dick is still big in the taijutsu category but i mean this is guy we're talking about and he opened up the eighth gate so he's about to give madara a run for his money especially since he's up close to personal and i like to imagine that madara will use one of those black spheres surrounding him to try to you know zoom towards guy real fast to protect himself from one of guy's attacks and guy just punches straight through that shit like it's paper at the range that guy and madara are from each other right now I can only see Madara protecting himself in a few ways unless he has some new way since he has pretty much the Sage of Tick's Pass chakra right now. I either see him pulling out a Susanoo, trying to defend himself with the black orbs, or doing some type of almighty push kind of thing. But at this point, I would like to imagine that Guy can break through all three of those things that I just mentioned because, I mean, he is literally on fire. He seems like a DBZ character right now also, but, I mean, Madara does have the OP power of the Ten Tails, so there's no telling which is going to have the upper hand here. But in close combat, Guy has it hands down. But, you know, the Ten Tails is still a factor inside of Madara. So who knows how that's going to affect, you know, uh, Guy's attack. But also a big possibility of Guy opening up the Death Gate is he does the Night Elephant, which is probably going to be a huge, charging, fiery elephant. And after that, he can't take it anymore and collapses right there. Although I hope this doesn't happen because that would be bullshit. I mean, we would have waited all this time to see the Death Gate and he does one awesome move and then that's the end of it. I want to see like some hand-to-hand -hand combat going i mean fiery punches going everywhere that would be fucking awesome and even though i enjoyed the fuck out of the flashbacks in 668 those of you that watched that review know why but i kind of want 669 to be just straight up guy versus madara and then after that chapter then we can go back to naruto and sasuke but right now this is guy's shining moment he's showing us what we've wanted to see for so flipping long so i would be upset if anything else kind of got in the way i mean they could dedicate an entire chapter to guy right now although it's highly unlikely that guy will be the one to defeat madara even what he said at the end of 668 hinted that he knew he wouldn't be the one to deal the final the finishing blow on madara he he says that this power is for nourishing the future leaves pretty much so he pretty much acknowledged that he is going to be the one to do this but he can at least help out in any way that he can and he can be the one to help 
guide the youth to that victory. So I'm pretty sure that he will at least cripple Madara in some way. Maybe destroy a few of those black balls. Maybe destroy the staff. Maybe just injure Madara. Like like I said, a limb or two will get knocked off. There are two things that I can see Guy doing after the power of the eighth gate wears out. He can either just collapse there and die or his body will literally burn up and float off somewhere. But as he's burning, he can have some awesome last words to Kakashi and Lee. Now this determines whether he's going to come back or not. If he burns up and literally floats off in the wind somewhere as dust, then I don't think there's any hope for him. But if he collapses after the after effects of the eighth gate, then I'm pretty sure that Naruto or someone can come and heal him, especially since Naruto is going to have the chakra from all the tail beasts. He can easily, you know, put some QB chakra around him and heal him that way. But right now, it seems that guy's body and spirit is literally on fire right now. So I will not be surprised if he literally just burns up and goes away kind of like the moment with sasuke and itachi how itachi was kind of like in a ghost form as he was saying some awesome last words maybe the same thing happens except guy is like literally made of fire maybe that's the time duration of the death gate since his eyebrows and hair and parts of his body is literally on fire what if like every second parts of his body keeps getting engulfed by flames and then when all of it is engulfed that's the end i mean i don't know but i hope god doesn't die if he does survive it's going to have to be through the help of some outside force like say someone with chakra that can be transferred to guy's body before he does die or like say the ready tensei or something like that but if guy is on his own right now he is going to die it's sad to say because it's called the death gate for a reason. But anyway, tell me what you guys want to see in 669. How much damage do you think Guy is going to do on Madara or any at all? So tell me what you guys think is going to happen when you know it's time up for the death gate. Do you think he's just going to burn up? Or do you think he's just going to fall over and kill over? Because I think if the death gate runs out and he just falls on the ground, someone can easily come there and save him in some way. Because we've seen a lot of that going on in this series lately. But anyway, tell me what you guys thought. This has been JB Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.